but your prayers and the prayers of the people of Kenya gave us a God-fearing leader who has started working in equally difficult circumstances. Sometimes I analyze. I thought that the path to our president getting into leadership was difficult. But I am now persuaded that getting through the government he's inherited, the economy, the problems bedeviling the people of Kenya is an equally even more difficult task. So we urge you to please continue praying for our president and his government for God's once more to put his hand on him and give him wisdom to steer this country into economic prosperity and restore the dignity of the Kenyan people by eradicating poverty, encouraging business, and putting money into people's pockets. Your Excellency, I have seen our detractors are very concerned that we come to church every Sunday. I was reading the papers this morning, they were even saying that since you came to office, this is your 28th Sunday service. I want to save them that task of keep on counting. We have been charged 52 Sundays every year for the next five years. So those editors who are signing reporters, the work of counting, don't please give them something else to do. We will be in charge. Coming Sunday will be in Akuru for prayers for the nation. And we want to thank our spiritual fathers for their arrangements. And Akuru is important. In 2017, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta and yourself went to Nakuru and prayed to God for victory. And the two, of, the two of you made a commitment that if God is gracious to give you victory, you shall come back to Nakuru. That never happened. After March 9, when that Muse came into government, he convinced our retired president that prayers are no longer necessary. We tried to ask him, we go back to Nakuru to honor the promise to go to say thank you, and he could not hear. The country faced unprecedented problems after we cheated God that we will go to say thank you. The country got into economic crisis. Businesses were destroyed. People's goods were touched. Women were evicted at night during COVID. Brother turned against his brother. We are saying we won't go back to Nakuru and say thank you, God, for giving us victory in 2017. <laughs> On top of that, we want to go to Nakuru as Kenya to thank God for peaceful elections in 2022. We want to thank God for a smooth transition. Above all, we want to request our leaders to intercede for this country before God to give us rain. We want our spiritual leaders to intercede for this country before God to save our young people from illicit brews and drugs. We want our leaders to intercede before God to save this country from the disease of cancer that has ravaged homes and left death and destruction in many homes. We have many issues to intercede. So let those people who don't like going to church, who don't believe in the power of prayer, go and do what they know most and leave us alone to go and pray to our God. What do I do? What do I do? Ni mwake na nikuona haja beno. Eno. Eno ita waruto. Ni omweda geno. Eno yali da iya goko. Eno ya chaba giyo.